Hello everyone and welcome back to Beyond Castle Wolfenstein. So I played a couple of games here, off camera, and I can't just get a real grasp on this game here. So it, it is generally spoken, it is generally ve very, there we go. So it, it is generally quite similar to the first Wolfenstein, but the problem is that it just seems to be a little bit too random and it seems to be very punishing. For example, let's just try to just try to open this here. Art objects, so that's uh, moderately useful. I don't know if that increases your score or anything. The forgery is well, whatever. So the first thing is that if you if they catch you, then that's it. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Now I had my gun out, so this is yeah. There we go. So uh, this is done already. That's the first thing, and I don't really start anywhere with stuff already cleared like you do in the first castle of time where they just put you back in the dungeon and only if you actually get shot that's a problem that's the first thing so the game feels very very punishing Hitler's diary so let's see can't read German that's too bad well this is not Indiana Jones the last crusade so it's too bad for me and that's the first thing so they just catch you once of course you have to pass but the problem is that you don't always know which pass you have and it's very easy to okay so I get over here so let's see what there we go so this was the first one we got lucky here because the statue is a random one you don't seem to be able to check which pass you're actually supposed to use okay there we go and now I'm lucky because I know that the f key number one gives me the pass I actually need to need to use but occasionally it's like number four or five and then the first guy just kills you because you don't know which one you're supposed to use and it just seems needly punishing because it's essentially just random you may as well run into the first guy deliberately just check out your passes and if, if he kills you and you lose you just wait 30 seconds just start a new game until you get it right here you're behind the desk so there we go behind the desk well we have to watch out for desks here so let's see keys that is great that's another thing you occasionally get keys and they're the right keys and they don't give you a counter for this so that's another thing so they occasionally give you the keys that you need occasionally you don't get the keys that you need and then you're just stuck i actually got stuck once on a previous well not really playthrough because i didn't play it through but i had the issue of yeah there we go so let's check that that one as well yeah because you need the keys to find the bomb ultimately but the problem is also that locked okay so can I just use my keys okay uh, evidently I cannot that's another thing here the, the controls seem to be worse they map more stuff to the keyboard and less stuff is contact sensitive than in the first game which is a little bit weird and i know that the doors power came a little bit later than the apple 2 version of this game here so you could argue that they improved the original castle Wolf yeah castle Wolf down here a little bit but the problem with that was that okay i guess you you're okay with this too the problem with that was that yeah here that they don't seem to have if there were improvements indeed that you, you, there we go that they probably didn't bring all the improvements over to this game if there indeed were some I don't think they were actually locked and I I don't get why I can't use my keys oh whoa, whoa, whoa. so yeah and don't get your that's another thing you need to get your gun out to actually interact with stuff but at the same time getting your gun out also means that these guys will attack you let's get this okay that belongs to Eva Braun Hitler's girlfriend whom he married shortly before yeah yeah I'm at it there you go whom he married shortly before his death yeah uh, but yeah halt kommen sie ausweis heil so yeah uh, that's another thing so we have to find that bomb but it's not easy and the thing is you either are completely safe because you have you have your pass your Ausweis 
or or they all come for you and shoot you and the shootouts I can never win these shootouts it's just not possible because the difference the difference here is that firstly the guys just seem to react better and just be generally have a, a better well AI AI script than the guys in the first castle of Stan. You ju your buddy just checked me 10 seconds ago there we go so that's one thing and the other thing is that reinforcements arrive as soon as the shootout begins so winning these shootouts is borderline impossible so let's just see what you have to say yeah and the passes uh they're they're semi-random okay this is locked again so i could i could, maybe i could shoot this guy here but that would mean that there would just be more guys coming for me and as soon as guys stop coming for me i have to be in more shootouts it's not like in the first Castle Wolfenstein where you can essentially just win win one encounter and then you're good. It's not like this. So, And I don't know why the game doesn't allow me to use my keys. I hope that wasn't an error in... Okay, there we go. Got that one right. So... Oh yeah, that's actually an, an elevator. There we go. Yeah, and there's another problem is that occasionally soldiers block your passage, so you have to shoot them to get through. And it just seems to be a little bit too random because it seems that occasionally you can't just you just can't progress properly. So let's see where you go. And because I want to check this cabinet door quickly, empty. Okay. And then let's just go take that elevator. Yeah, this guy blocks my way, but he actually goes out of the way. Occasionally guys don't do that, so. So you can't just go through there. So let's take the elevator here. Now these guys, they might demand a different pass. Uh, we'll see about that. Just go through here quickly. So this guy. There we go. Oh dear. Yep, yeah, they got you. So there we go. And the thing is, you don't even get to start a fight. They just, uh, they just walk you over the head, and that's it. And to be honest, I think I'm kind of done with this game because, because for the most part, it's like the original Castle Wolfenstein, except they made it more challenging, but not in a way that feels rewarding. It just has a feeling I just get lucky or I don't get lucky, and that's really all. And the game can actually be completed in like 5 to 10 minutes if you just find the bomb delivered and have the right passes. But if you don't find the passes, then there's essentially no way of you getting through the different different uh, stories of the bunker and you just fail. And it's always back to the beginning. There's no way that you actually get thrown into the dungeon, which would be a nice, that would actually be a nice mechanic that you get a second chance. You're thrown into the dungeon, then you potentially you can keep stuff, but you also have to go through another another level full of Nazis because obviously you're in the dungeon now, not the beginning of the bunker. But no, that's that's just not going to happen. But anyway, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.